everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. We are in our mini pig enclosure. Um, this here is our shelter, their summer shelter. It originally was a summer shelter for our fainting goats and even later we used it for um, some mini donkeys that were staying here. But the problem is this isn't really winterized, it's made out of pallets. It is enclosed with plywood on two sides, but I'm going to enclose it on all four sides and put a whole bunch of hay in there for the mini pigs. So we started out with one mini pig seven years ago, Stella. Um, then we got another mini pig and then guess what? Another mini pig just showed up on the farm. I don't know if it got attracted here by the pheromones of the female pig or maybe somebody dropped it off because they knew we had mini pigs. Um, in the past, we have had the pig staying in the barn in the wintertime. And if it gets really, really cold and lots and lots of snow, we can still put them in the barn. But the problem with the barn is it gets stinky, smelly. We got to clean that stall. Here they have over a half an acre or more to roam and have fun. They're able to root. They're able to be pigs. They have a small, uh, it's a seepage, a mud puddle that appears most of the year for them. So they got that and they just have fun here. There's lots of walnuts falling. There's a hickory tree, so they're able to forage. We feed them, of course, but we need to work on the shelter. I know it looks pretty bad. This is about seven years old. Um, so we're gonna enclose it, enclose it, enclose it, um, and put hay in it, or not hay, straw, people, not hay, straw. Um, I only got one bale of straw right now, so I'm gonna have to get more for the winter. Right now, it's freaking amazing. It's uh, I don't know, 67 degrees. But before we get to work, let's go ahead and meet the mini pigs of Whistle Thicket in case you're joining us for the first time. So I'm walking through their enclosure just to show you how big it is. The fence starts at that old greenhouse back there. That um, was a problem, that greenhouse. But there's a fence back there and I'm just walking, walking. You'll probably see the pigs in the background. And they have a pretty good enclosure. Um, when we first moved here, I took a lot of these big trees out. There's probably, I don't know, 10, or more big stumps um, from big trees I took out. And um, most of that was firewood. Some of this stuff is still laying here actually, seven years later. Uh, but this has turned into a great enclosure for our pigs. So as you can see, we'd rather keep them here for as long as we can in the winter time. Um, if it gets too cold, we'll put them up. Um, but they have all of this area to roam, to be pigs, right? Their pet pigs are not for food, but even if we raise meat pigs, we would have a good enclosure for them and rotate them. These guys are so little, we don't really need to rotate. Uh, they do do some rooting, but that's what pigs do. They root for food, for worms, for insects, for roots. Um, and I found that having three pigs Three mini pigs is better than having one mini pig and definitely better than having two mini pigs. One mini pig wants a lot of attention. Two mini pigs fight. Three mini pigs for us 
seems to be the perfect number. Uh, they all really get along. I was, I'm, I'm pretty surprised. But it's time to get to work. I know it's a nice day today, but it is November. And we could get snow anytime, and I want our pigs to be nice and happy. We've already had a frost or two, and they seem just fine out here, but I don't want them to spend a really cold night with snow and not have enough hay. So let's way over there, you can see the shelter. It's time to get to work. Here's our uh, finished pig pen. I know it doesn't look pretty and I could have done a much better job, but you know what, I didn't, but that's okay. This is just for the mini pigs. Um, so the summer shelter had it two doorways. I took one of the entrances away so that they could have uh, more space to, uh, um, I guess not get any wind on them. Uh, and with three pigs, I want to give them as much space as they want. And I made the door a little bit smaller. And I put um, a lip on the bottom of the door that they're going to have to climb in and out of. That's to help keep some of the, the straw inside their winter shelter. Now, I know this doesn't look pretty, uh, but I'm going to paint it. Um, I painted it once, and uh, it rained, people. It rained, and that's what happens when you paint, and then it rains on you. Um, but that's okay. So I still need to add a lot more straw, probably like three bales of straw to make them really happy in there. And it is such a hot day right now. They're not going to need this for a while, um, but it's ready to go. I think they're going to be a lot happier in there. They have more room to be blocked from the wind. All sides now are uh, covered. So they're going to have a lot less wind, which I think is really important. And now that heat's gonna stay in from their three little piggy bodies and that straw is gonna keep them nice and warm. And I think they're gonna really enjoy this, this winter. And again, if it gets super, super cold and the pigs aren't hacking it, we will move them to the barn. But I think this is at least going to be good for November and December. Where I live, the worst months are January and February. I don't know about you, but in Western North Carolina, that's definitely true. So until next time, keep watching. We got lots of videos, over 600 videos, people. Uh, and we're not stopping, so keep on watching.